I'm here with uh, Che Guevara, who's the uh, acting athletic director of the uh, California State Athletic Commission. Che, really quickly, uh, there was a lot of commotion about uh, the predetermined neutrality agreement for the fight. Um, there were talks that the fight not might even happen, but here we are uh, at the press conference. Uh, can you kind of uh, delve a little bit into uh, the details on, on what happened? Yeah. <coughs> Um, basically, there was a prior agreement, um, contractual binding agreement uh, between Sauerland and Goosen Tudor regarding the officials. The terminology used in the, in the contract was neutrality. Uh, <clears throat> that, to me, our interpretation, California Athletic Commission's interpretation is neutrality, meaning out of our jurisdiction, um, somebody outside of California, per se, maybe a Nevada official, a Texas, New York official. Um, the interpretation that Dan Goosen had was the same. We agreed on the officials being okay from uh, the referee being from Nevada at the furthest, um, at least in English speaking, so we can correspond correctly. Um, it was what we liked, uh, but if, <clears throat> when we got closer to the fight, we come to find out Sauerland, uh, his interpretation of neutrality was actually outside the country. Um, so they essentially uh, held Arthur Abraham, at least they say they did, ransom um, on the island on the Baltic Sea where he was training. Um, until uh, they came to a, a happy medium with the officials. Um, right before they wanted to board him on the plane, uh, the Goosen Athletic Commission office, as well as Sarlin all um, jumped on the conference and tried to work it out. Uh, we ended up agreeing at the last minute to Luis Pabon as the referee. Um, maybe it wasn't the best thing to do, but we do have the Federal Muhammad Ali Act that protects us from from uh, using uh, who they select, and, and that's just for you know uh, even playing field across the board for championship fights, and we wanted to exercise that, but we chose not to. And here we are. Uh, you bring that up as far as um, Muhammad Ali Act, and uh, what what are your main concerns um, as far as not having your officials or your referee in there? Because you know it's 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 kind of unprecedented. Usually we. In California, we will have uh, a California referee in there. It's been many, many, many years, well before I came here, uh, that we use somebody outside of a California official. Um, the, the idea behind it is, is so you don't allow a sanctioning body and or promoter to be able to select their officials. Usually the practice is the sanctioning body will send a commission a list of officials um, and then they choose from that list. Sometimes it's five, ten officials, sometimes it's two officials. When you allow them to give you only two, then they're pretty much picking their officials for your fight, um, which the whole point of us being here is to do that and, and have regulation over that. So that's the fear and that's the concern that we have when uh, promoters or, or uh, sanctioning bodies choose or select their officials. Thank you very much. I appreciate it and I'll see you on Saturday. See you there,